Well, a new facility on the Big Island set up to treat injured and sick sea mammals admitted its first patient overnight. Unfortunately, that adult striped dolphin found stranded off Kona was very sick and died this afternoon. KITV 4 Shane Enright reports how officials and volunteers cared for the animal and how they'll learn from its death. Volunteers and NOAA officials rescued the sick dolphin from the waters off Milolii in Kona. The animal was um, responded to, stabilized, and loaded into a rescue vehicle in a special dolphin carrier. NOAA's Marine Mammal Response Coordinator David Schofield says the adult mammal was very sick and may have been fighting a virus or infection. The animal did not have any visible injuries. Schofield says a community member notified officials Monday afternoon about the sick dolphin. When dolphins strand, people's natural instinct is to push those animals back out into the ocean, free willy, if you will. Uh, but these animals are very, very sick when they come ashore, and they're stranding for a reason. The dolphin was the first to receive care at the Hilo Cetacean Rehab Center. For about the past five years, we have not had the capacity in the region to be able to handle a live, stranded dolphin or small whale. University of Hawaii Hilo professors closely monitored the dolphin around the clock as the animal was too weak to support its own weight. The dolphin has gotten around the clock care. It's been getting uh, fluids via a stomach tube every four hours. Um, it was introduced solid food um, earlier this afternoon. Um, it has been given various medications. Such Although the animal did not survive, it provided officials with a snapshot of Hawaii's marine life. Marine mammals are uh, indicators of ocean health, and so we learn from these animals. When they come ashore, they teach us about the health of that population, as well as the health of the nearshore waters um, that they inhabit. So these animals can be better protected in the future. Shane Enright, KITV4 News.